Hey dudes, what's up? It's even um I'm your Saturday dude. I hope you guys had a good week and stuff. Uh, the weather here has been pretty sweet. Um so yeah. I'm sorry my videos are always really boring. It's like everyone else has like, yeah, I'm gonna edit and be silly and awesome and like whoa and I'm just like blah 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 <laughs> you know what I mean. This week's topic is coming out and I made a video about this already like a long time ago but I guess I'll just do a small like recap and then if you wanted to go watch it again I don't know whatever anyways so yeah coming out um I guess the first time I came out it was a really bad way to come out like I just kind of got into an argument with my mom. I would just like say something that, you know, she would be like, huh. But um, the first time it really came out, I just like blurted it out at her and was just like, ah, blah, blah, blah. and she was just like, meh, meh, meh. if you want to like girls, I understand that, but be a man, like whatever, you know that. And it was just like, okay, whatever, I'm going to go in my room now. And, um, so yeah, and then like, I sort of halfway told like, two of my friends that like, I just wasn't, I wasn't sure at the time, so like, I didn't even know what to tell them. I would just be like, see, this is what I'm thinking about or whatever, this is what's happening. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> yeah, if you're gonna come out to your parents and stuff, like, don't just start yelling at them, or make sure you do your own research first, and before you, like, start telling people, because they're gonna ask, like, well, what does that mean? Well, why do you feel that way? Well, you don't need to, you don't need to feel that way, or whatever, or, like, you know? And it's just, like, you know, stupid. I don't know, it's hard to ask me, I guess, like, coming out or whatever because it's like I'm still coming out to people like there's still only a few people that know except semi-recently there was um a thing on Facebook that was like you know I didn't become trans just because it would be easier than a lesbian being a lesbian and then like my plumbing is not up for question and stuff and it was like at the end it said repost this if you're a trans man and I was like well, I'm pretty close to that, so I'm going to repost this, if not just for myself, then for all the other, you know, like, trans guys out there. And, um, so I guess, uh, whoever saw that post, um, knows now, <laughs> or something like that. Except, it kind of sucks, because, I don't know, I mean, it was good to just get it out there and there was a lot of people like that were really supportive or whatever like yeah we love you you know man blah, blah, blah. and uh, I actually had my grandpa come up to me and tell me that like you know he didn't post anything because he said well if I were to just say that well hey I love and support you he said that would mean that there was something different or something weird about it and he said there isn't and I was like that's the best grandpa ever and um my grandma just, you know, added me as her grandson on Facebook, which is pretty, pretty fucking awesome. Um, but yeah, I guess for my situation, uh, personally, like, I consider myself sort of agender, and then, like, with trans-masculine, there's actually a term for it called, um, fancy, which I mentioned it, I think, in another video or whatever but it's like someone who identifies with their opposite sex biological sex but they still don't like present either way or whatever I don't know but like just because of that label or whatever um, it makes it harder to come out to people like sure you can just say oh I'm just transgender because you know Trans can just mean, you know, anything, you know, I guess, apart from being cisgendered. But it's like, then you sort of 
have to come out again if you really want someone to understand, you know? And it's just like, it's confusing. And it's like, I almost will never come out as that just because it's so obscure that I would have to like spend an hour explaining it to someone. Tips on coming out. Don't start with an argument. Do your research. Uh, and I don't know, like if you if you if if you get shit for it and you continue to get shit for it, you don't have to deal with that. Don't stick around, don't take it, just be like, you know what, alright, fine. If you feel this way, I'm sorry. And don't like don't like take it to heart so much because you're probably going to be dealing with stuff like that for the rest of your life. And it sucks if it's a close friend, you know, or a really close family, but, um, you know, you don't have to take that. Be yourself, you know, be, uh, confident or whatever. I don't know. I think I, oh, I'm drooling. <laughs> I think I worded it better in my other video, so... If you go watch that one, that would be better. Alright. I will see you guys later then, or next week or something, and have a good week.